Hi. So it's been a while, so I decided to talk about bisexuals in the news. And why is that? Because there seems to be a lot of bisexuals in the news nowadays. But before I get to that, I'll mention that this week's video is brought to you by my t-shirts on Amazon. Uh, there's a link to them in the description below, but I'll get to that at the end of the video. Until then, let's talk about who came out actually today as I'm recording this. And who is that? That would be Disney star Alison Stoner. How do you know Alison Stoner? Well, if you are a big Disney fan, you might remember the, the TV, the movie, TV movie, Camp Rock. And you might know the animated show Phineas and Ferb, where she plays Isabella. What you do when? Or Milo's Law. Or the animated show Young Justice. She was the voice of Batgirl, as well as being in the movies Cheaper by the Dozen. So yeah, she, she works quite a bit. And how did this all come about, her coming out? Well, today, she penned an article for Teen Vogue, and in it, she chronicles her first experience falling in love with a woman. It was a very touching article, and if you'd like to check it out, there's a link to it in the description below. Now, I will say that at no point in the article did she self-identify as bisexual or pansexual or anything else, but she very openly stated that she has an attraction to men, attraction to women, and attraction to all other genders as well. So, welcome Alison Stoner. Welcome to the cool people. But she isn't the only bisexual in news because Cynthia Nixon, who you might remember from the TV show and movies Sex and the City, well, she is an openly bisexual woman and she announced her candidacy for governor. So congratulations to her. I think she's running on the platform to fix the subway systems in New York. And of course she's in the news because <laughs> New York Times, Vox, Guardian, all these places are congratulating her for entering her candidacy and also for calling her openly gay. Yeah. But of course, I think at this point, I'm willing to forgive them a little more because, man, they're just not Cynthia Nixon, not Cynthia Nixon, but there are just so many bisexuals out there that feel the need to erase themselves by identifying as gay because they're in a relationship with some of the same gender. So, I mean, if bisexuals are willing to erase themselves, how can we complain when, you know, outlets like the New York Times and stuff like that does it as well? But that's just a side note. Great news is that we have a bisexual running for governor of New York, and if she were by chance to win, she would become the second uh, governor in America, of course, the first being Kate Brown, the governor of Oregon. So let's cross our fingers for her, and if you are bisexual and you are in New York, maybe you should check out her candidacy and see whether she's the candidate for you. But what other uh, bisexuals in the news? Well, of course, Emma Gonzalez is in the news, and, and you, if you don't know who she is, I think you probably would recognize her because she is one of the leading advocates, student advocates for gun control, being one of the survivors of the Parkland shooting. She's been in the news for a while, but she is back in the news because, well, Congressman, Republican Congressman Steve King of Iowa felt the need to tweet this out about her with this picture, saying, this is how you look when you claim Cuban heritage yet don't speak Spanish, ignore the fact that your ancestors fled the island when the dictatorship turned Cuba into a prison camp after removing all weapons from its citizens, hence their right to self-defense. So in other words, she's in the news because an ignorant congressman felt the need to show his ignorance once again and attack her heritage and somehow claim that, what, she doesn't have the right to identify as Cuban, even though her heritage is Cuban, and I, 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 I don't know. The point is that uh, Emma Gonzalez identifies as bisexual, and she is one of the other people who are trying to change the world for the better. So if you ask yourself, where are all the openly bisexual people? Well, the answer is they're in the process of coming out. 
They're in the process of running for governor of New York City, and they're in the process of trying to get reasonable gun control in the United States. So proud of my fellow bisexuals. But those aren't the only bisexuals in the news because if you are a fan of television, specifically, you know, superhero bisexuals, you will know that our favorite bisexual warlock made a return to Legends of Tomorrow on the CW. And also that it was announced that next season, if Legends of Tomorrow will be renewed for season number four, Constantine will return as a permanent cast member on the show. And that would be exciting because, you know, out of all characters on television, Constantine is one where they clearly set him up as, you know, having attraction to both genders, having slept with White Canary, and also having flirted with um, Captain Cold. So that's some exciting news. Then finally, in the superhero, bisexual superhero news, it is rumored that um, on the upcoming movie Deadpool 2, they will be including Shatterstar, which is by canon a bisexual character from the comics. He is being played by Louis Tan, supposedly, and we are all crossing our fingers that on the movie, he will be expressed as a bisexual character. And I think that he probably will be because after the success of Deadpool 1, Ryan Reynolds, who plays Deadpool, expressed an interest in having a love of, you know, of a male love interest in the next movie. Don't know what's going to happen, but it seems like something that they would do to add a bisexual cast member, like an openly bisexual cast member to the movie, you know, because Ryan Reynolds is just cool and, and you know, because Deadpool is in canon, an openly pansexual character. But that's it. Those are the bisexuals making the news um, this week. Uh, let me know what you think. How awesome is it that there are so many openly bisexual people and characters in the news right now? It just makes me proud. And if you like this, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. You can support this channel by going to Amazon and picking up one of my bisexual t-shirts. This is my most popular and I think still the most popular bisexual shirt on Amazon. Um, and it comes in short sleeve, it comes in long sleeve, it comes in sweatshirts, and it comes in hoodies. You can also check out my lapel pins on Amazon. And of course, you can check out my bisexual romances on Amazon as well. All the links for this stuff is in the description below. Like I said, uh, don't forget to like this video. And if you want more bisexual news, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let YouTube know that you'd like to know when my new videos come up by clicking on the bell. Until the next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friends. Stay cooler. <laughs> Bye.